Hello guys and welcome back to another video. What we have in front of us here is the Yoga, the Lenovo Yoga C740, the 15.6 inch. And what we're gonna do is open it up and see how we can replace the hard drive, if we're able to replace the memory, and how to replace the battery as well. So there is a number of screws on the back that you have to um, remove. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So let's go ahead and remove them. Keep in mind when you remove these, um, the top ones um, are longer than the rest of them. The rest of them are short, so it doesn't matter in terms of the, the bottom ones, the bottom and then the center ones, if you remove those, uh, you can keep them all together. The top ones, just make sure you keep them separate or remember that the top ones are longer screws. So we have all screws removed. Now, to open the case in the back, now this one has some damage to it, so um, we still should be able to remove the case. But the best place to probably pull it back from would be right where, it's hard to kind of show you guys, but if you can do it from the gap, that would be great. Um, if you can try to basically pry open from the side and here, then that would be even better. So now that I have it open a little bit, if you guys can see, um, this part actually remains on the laptop. So what we're removing is everything else. And just do it very slowly, gentle, so you don't break any tabs in there. This laptop has been dropped, so there is some damage to it. So you can kind of see that there's some pieces that, that fell out here, um, which I'm not really worried about. And here's the case. And here's the interior. So we have our battery here, which can be replaced by removing. Now, if you notice on the battery, there's going to be an arrow uh, pointing to each screw. So there's one here one here, and then we have one here and one here. So there's a total of four, uh, five screws, I'm sorry. There's also one at the bottom here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you also have to remove the connection uh, to the battery from the motherboard. Just always be careful when you remove the connector. And personally, I don't like using tools when it comes to certain connections. If you pull, just make sure you hold from here and not close to the, the wires to the connector. If you pull very gently and you kind of wiggle it, Make sure you kind of keep your, maybe your hand or your finger on, on the, the, the motherboard section of the connection uh, so you don't break anything and it comes right off. Now, memory is soldered in. These laptops, I think, only take about 12 gigabytes of memory. Um, so that doesn't seem like it's something that we can replace. I don't see anything from here. If you wanted to remove the fan, um, I know there was issues with, with these laptops where there's always, they make sound. If what you could do in the beginning is open it up. And if you have that issue with the fan uh, making noise, then you can open the case up and then just use an air can and blow the dust from it. And if that doesn't work normally, you can notice if your laptop, if you turn your laptop on and you kind of notice when the fan starts kicking in and it stops or and so forth, you'll notice that one is lagging more than the other. So like, for example, this one would stop right away or sorry, this one would stop a little bit slower or right away. And then this one, you can notice it even wiggling a little bit. Um, for most cases, you do have to replace the whole fan and usually it comes down all the way to the where the CPU is. So the heat sink, you'd have to remove that as well just to remove the whole thing. Um, and I believe you could find this somewhere online, probably on eBay um, or maybe even on Lenovo's website. Let's go and see how we can replace the memory. So this takes an M.2 held down by one screw. And if we open this screw up, we can remove the screw. And then um, it is covered by uh, this protection cover for 
but we can remove it. And I'll actually also remove this cover just to show you guys what kind of memory it takes. So bear with me while I remove this. So that's a quick tip here. If you bought a laptop like this secondhand versus it brand new, and you open this case up and you notice that the the um, M.2 or the SSD does not have a cover like this, then you'll know that it was replaced in the past. Um, factory, it does come this way. And you can notice it on other things as well, like right here, um, you know, some areas here where the heat sink is and so forth. So this is the M.2 and I'll bring it up a little closer here, try to focus. So if you look at M.2s, there's one that has one notch and then two notches. The, this yoga takes one that has one notch. It is, um, this one, uh, it is a 512 gigabyte. And you don't have to get the same exact model or anything like that. As long as you, when you're looking for one, just keep an eye out on whether it has one notch or two notches and you can get as much uh, as you want so if you if you currently have 512 gigabytes you can get one terabyte you can get two terabytes um, that choice is really yours you can even get 256 uh, gigabytes if you prefer but this is the ssd the m.2 and uh, removing it is very easy as you saw and to put it back it's basically the same way so it only goes in one way if we try to put it like upside down you know it's not going to go in uh, but if we put it this way, as long as it goes in a little bit and you don't see basically this anymore. So when we push it in, we won't be able to see that anymore. And then it just sits and you take your screw and just screw it down so it doesn't move. So make sure you don't lose that screw when you remove it. So obviously, as you guys uh, saw, the first thing we did was remove the battery connection. And that's something that you should do when you're working on a computer. A lot of times when I'm doing it, I don't remove it because, you know, I, I don't have an issue if something does really go wrong, especially with the laptops that I work on. Um, but let's see what's underneath here as well. So this is the memory um, that's soldered into the, the, the computer. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, you cannot upgrade the memory. This is 12 gigabytes. Uh, it came with 12 gigabytes. Um, if you have 12 gigabytes, then that's what you purchased. Otherwise, you know, I'm not sure if you can build a PC uh, like the Yoga and, and get more memory. Uh, but it does have 12 gigabytes of memory, and that's all that it is. We can't um, upgrade to more. So removing this cover um, was easy, but putting it back is a little bit of a headache. You have to try to get it on the tabs. Basically, there's these little tabs here. You might not be able to see that far, but one, one, two, three, four, five, six. You just kind of have to try to get those tabs on, which means I have to pull this cover, and there it is. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that we would need to replace. If you ever need to replace a little battery if it dies out you could replace it from here it's held down by this little bit of glue um although i think it's best to actually purchase one and then you know remove this connection so if you purchase one and you want to replace it make sure you replace uh the whole thing as is like this so if you guys see here and the reason why we would want to get a new battery basically the whole connection um is because we i opened up just a little bit just to see so this has one for positive and one for negative and i'm not sure it might be a little bit too hard to see here but uh one goes on the negative side and then the positive side and it's just held down really tight with this and um i'm not going to fully remove it because then i don't have anything that can i can heat shrink this back on if i need to sorry guys i realized that when i showed you guys the battery i focused on it close up to the to the camera and um, I kept that focus up there so basically when you're putting the battery back on um, the connection will go back in be very gentle with these small connections just push it in and you're good to go there to remove the fan um, and the basically where the CPU is as well it's held down by one two three and then one two three screws here for these where the CPU is you want to go in order there's a number next to them so one 
two, three. I know you guys can't see it from far. And then you also want to remove these. And these are very fragile, so be very careful when you're pulling these out. Hold it with a grip and pull it very carefully. If you feel like it's not coming off, I would try to remove some, use something very um, thin to try to just pull it out. But you want to remember also how you put these, pull these out and put them back in. And then to remove these, one screw here. These are all the same screws, so you don't have to worry about um, what kind of screw is for what, so you can keep them together. And you'll notice the fan does pop out a little bit. That might not be the same for you. And then you want to also remove these. So one. Now these screws stay in there. As long as you pull, you twist them um, far enough, they start hearing clicks because it's no longer in the thread. And then you're good. So to remove the fan, pull it out from here because it's actually tucked into the case. And it comes out like so. And basically uh, this side was tucked into the case here and then if we flip it you do have to replace the whole thing so if you have an issue with the fan you do have to replace this whole module here this is where the cpu the cpu is right there you can you can see that there was thermal paste on here and on on the cpu as well remember that you do have to clean this off with some rubbing alcohol and cotton swab um clean it off of, of, off of here as well so when you're putting your new module in or if you're putting the same thing in um, then you can put like a small dab of thermal paste, probably about the same size as this um, screw here in the center. So once when you apply this back on and you screw it in, it does spread basically. To put this back on, we do want to start with this, so tucking it in. And make sure you're aligning these screw holes so that would help you know where to tuck it in. And we'll start by tightening this down. So one, two, and three. The same case goes for here, the fan. Um, you'll notice the screw holes align. I'll start with the center one and then do the other ones. And that's it. Uh, remember the, the, the battery here um the little battery that stores you know the date and time the bios information and so forth is plugged in i just kept it aside here so i can plug these back in there is a little um how should i say this let me see so there's a little bit of there's like a little paint dot on one of these connectors i'm not sure if it's on both it is on both one this one has black this one has white you want to plug it that way so if you flip it over you're going to see the actual wires that wants that that needs to be facing down so we'll plug this in and don't feel like, oh, it's not going in. It actually, it's very quick to go in. So when you put it in and you push it a little bit, it does go in almost right away. That's it. And then this battery, we'll put it back in place um, like that. If you feel like it's not sticking anymore, you can use something like uh, maybe a little dash of glue or something like that just to keep it from moving and then the last part we want to do of course our battery main battery connection here push that in and you should that should see that going all the way and to put the case back on this one is very simple so you want to start with the bottom align that and then start pushing on sides and you'll hear clicks so as long as it's aligned um, make sure it's aligned correctly. There we go. You'll hear it clicking and then from the top as well, you'll notice that it's clicking and then the bottom sometimes there's this kind of push in the center a little bit, not too much, and then you're good to go. Now in my case, again, this is damaged, so it does look like it's not on. And then when you're putting the screws on, remember the big screws go on the top. And then the rest are all the small screws. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And um, thank you, guys. And see you guys in the next one.